what is so funny yeah i did i did is recently watching someone talk about uh how i imagine content creators crying on camera turning on the camera and then you start crying so funny but it happened it happened it happened it happened and once you turn the camera you remember why you were crying from the first place oh okay it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine so i used to be a traveler uh currently on a long break a long break from like hopping from one country to another and while traveling one thing i really hated was always having to say bye to people not knowing now that i'm not traveling i thought that has come to an end but unfortunately it has not i'm still on a roll of saying bye to people just like two or three weeks ago i said bye to one of my best assistant i have ever gotten for my channel uh and now in this video i'm gonna be saying bye and i feel so sad to be parting ways with people but i'm also glad for the opportunity to have met created amazing memories have great had great time and uh yeah let's get into it hi guys welcome back to another youtube video my name is damaris jenga if you're new here please consider hitting the subscribe button i bring to you fun amazing interesting content of the places i get to explore see and i find is informative to you currently living in ethiopia and having a time of my life well or at least i tend to think so or most of the days that is the case but in this vlog i think this is a good buy vlog Today I'm going to be saying bye or in this vlog I'm going to be saying bye to so many people and one of them has to be Maingi. You want to come say bye to uh, my channel. Yeah. He's a hey. Kenyan. We've just yeah. shot a video yeah. now. Yeah, hey, hey y'all. Yeah. Yeah, we just shot a video. Ah, I heard you say uh, consider subscribing to her channel. No, don't consider. Subscribe to the channel. It's a great channel. Great Thank content. You. Stuff about life and others and all that. Yeah. So also subscribe to his channel. He is, it's been fun chilling with you, hanging yeah. out. Yeah. But you're also going to yeah. Kenya. I'll Please probably pass my greetings. I will. I will. I will. Yeah. I will. Fly safe. I know you need some unga and ugali and all that <laughs> stuff. So don't worry. I but got you're you. coming back. I got you. Yeah. You're coming yeah. back. Yeah. yeah. Ethiopia. You have to yeah. come. Ethiopia one time is not enough. You have oh, to come. You have back to come back. Day. Yeah. Uh, how many times would you recommend? Like, like maybe not less than three. No, less than three. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. okay. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, so pleasure. Bye. Bye. Okay. Okay. So I'm also heading out to go say bye to another friend that you guys have been seeing on my videos, which is actually not a very good feeling to be saying bye to people who have been part of my life here in Ethiopia. So let's go. So I am still walking and I'm thinking that not all the time goodbyes are bad. As much as I thought now because I'm not traveling anymore, I'll be having more consistent people. And even all the consistent people that are in my life are currently the consistent Ethiopians. They are currently on a, on a out of the country traveling too. So I also said goodbye to them. Uh, I think we also get to learn to appreciate people within the time that we've been given, you know? Like we appreciate them for who they are, their time, their moments. Like for example, now I have to definitely go see this person now because I know, I don't know the next time I'm seeing them. You know, stuff like this. If maybe I knew they are gonna be around for another one year, maybe I wouldn't see them soon. So, good goodbyes are not always that bad. Uh, but I hate saying goodbyes. And mentor. I'm grateful for the So hi guys uh, later in the evening currently seated uh, in my friend's restaurant 
as they are about to check out and head to the airport to leave the country. But one of my cultures is if we have like a good connect, we go and visit places we will miss about each other, like in terms of memory and stuff like this. So we did go for ice cream earlier because we loved having ice cream together. And we also did go to Africana restaurant because it ended up being like our almost all the time spot and had some injera because you have to have injera too as you are about to leave the country. Yeah, so that's what's up. And uh, oh, if you're wondering why I did not record Akim, if you didn't know who it was, it's because he doesn't want to watch this video and will be sad seeing himself live, but soon we'll be back. Just as I told you one time in Ethiopia is not enough, you will just find yourself back. Who doesn't want a Scott? So they say the average of your friends is who you are and does that mean that now all my friends are leaving Ethiopia? It is my time for me to leave. Anyway, just as I was processing the departure of Akim, talked to Mika and he was like, hey, I'm, I'm sorry, I hoped to see you last minute, but I'm leaving Ethiopia. Talk to Habesha, she has also left the country. I'm just like, everyone is leaving. Is it time to go? Uh, you did tell me. Then the season has actually changed and I'm just like, wow, maybe you missed the memo on a new season. Anyway, before that, something interesting happened in uh, the last few days. I met these amazing people, uh, fans of Desta, their Desta buddies, let's say that. And uh, we met, they had a few hours in Ethiopia and we got to have like one of the loveliest, let me say close to 24 hours together got to see many things got to do many things and had so so much fun and uh, in the process i was just like oh my god this is another moment for me to meet other people have a cre create amazing memory and then they are gone like wow let me know in the comment section down below do you have people coming in your life so often like your your life is just like a pathway for people to meet people and part ways with people meet people part ways with people there was a time i was even conflicting on do i need to reduce the amount of networking that i do especially with people that but anyway that's a lot of thinking don't even bring that up i think everything is temporal on this earth and everything keeps changing and the good thing is to adjust to the change as it keeps changing so many things have also changed in my life that i'm excited to share with you guys but i just wanted to share this moment of yeah there are days we also or i also feel sad parting ways with people or i have my own sad days uh after going through, through this whole season and uh, i can't say i'm lonely i still have people in my life who are currently still in ethiopia some that i should actually just also reach out to them uh, but also parting ways is never anything simple at times to do, especially with the uncertainty of when is the next time you're ever going to meet these amazing people that you get to meet. But I think most important thing is to maximize on whatever time you get to spend with these people. So we really had an amazing time. I'm going to leave you with those clips. Uh, they were shot in landscape i was not vlogging but i just thought this is so much fun to live out so you guys i'm gonna leave you with that i well represented you well at your abyssinia dancing and uh, my eskista practice improved that day very soon i should do a video of eskista let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see me dancing to ethiopian music and you will get a chance to rate me and my ethiopian dance moves Anyway, always, always remember to create time for that which ignites your soul. Until next time, bye. Enjoy the extra clips.
like the theme of this video it was time again to make our last cheers after enjoying lots of ethiopian trial lifestyle fast things here in ethiopia uh, okay, there we go. Boom. Okay, okay there, there we, we go. go all right cheers, cheers. 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 all right family yeah. all right all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs>